Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games, and welcome back to Expositions Conquistador. We're heading, um, towards Z Zagalapa. Actually, I want to go down here to Tanichi to, to the land. I can never pronounce those words right. They're so cool when people pronounce them who know how to. No, stay off the... We don't want to camp on the road, because I don't want our stuff to be stolen. So we're going to camp. Let's see, everybody should be busy. I don't remember what we're working on. Spike traps, all right. And, um... Actually, do you have any herb herbalism? Yeah, you're good at that. Um... I don't do the herbal fucking... Why can't you do that? Oh, because you don't have any. I was looking at it wrong. Derp. Well, let's have the doc do that, though. That seems cool. Oh, and we're most done with our magic axe level two. Yay! It's the day of our Lord, Thursday, October 3rd, 1518. We'll just have him work on, I guess, the last axe thing. Who really cares? Not me! Just follow the road here. Follow the dirty brick road! <laughs> follow, 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 follow. Looking for Aztecs. Start the roads, cool. Stuff, oops, there's, is that a guy down there? Is he gonna attack us? Yeah, bring it, bitch! You, your re people report movement ahead. You order your expedition members to form up in a defensive formation. A group of Aztec warriors appear a bit ahead of you in single fire, dr dragging a large group of dejected tribals tied to poles connected by ropes. They must be heading towards to not ch ch that must be Mexico City. The slavers I used suspiciously and changed their course to avoid you. Um, I want to attack this the Aztecs for two reasons. Number one, they're Aztecs. Number two, maybe if we free these assholes that they have, um, maybe uh, maybe they will help us fight the Aztecs so we can get more gold. We're gonna try the very hard tactics to set up a surprise attack. You warn your men to prepare for a fight, then wait for the Aztecs to pass you. As their column almost aligns with your men, they suddenly raise their weapons and charge your ranks. They must have been figured out what you were planning. How did they know that white man can't be trusted? <laughs> Alright, hey, Gabriella's got her promotion. I don't remember if she had that before the last battle a lot, or not. So we'll bring our dream team. I think we have all the equipment assigned. To battle! I was hoping with all the soldiers we would have been able to uh, get the jump on them. Whatever. I still love this one. It still looks like the white guys are like, Oh shit! What the fuck is going on? Oh, uh, the ones in the foreground, that is. They're like, what's Jim doing back there fighting all those guys? He's crazy. Or I guess it wouldn't be Jim. Maybe Javier. Alright, preparation phase. How many of them are there? I don't see any of them. Two, four, six, eight. Where the fuck are we? We're here by the fence. Alright, so I'm gonna put out a spike trap for once. Let's, uh. Okay, let's put out barricade, barricade, spike trap, spike trap. Because we never used a spike trap successfully before. And then, um, let's put our people out. Can we move them anymore? No, I guess they're kind of stuck where they are. Just make sure Anna's in the back, and let's. Put you guys up a little bit. Okay, let's do it. Do they get to go first? Come on, we just want to get in our position and... I don't know, hopefully the Aztecs aren't a lot tougher to fight. They might be. I think those people we murdered before must have been Aztecs. I mean, they had gold from a bunch of different cultures. The Aztecs were aggressive people. So are we. We're gonna destroy your culture. Nice shield, dude. Your shield's not as nice. I bet he's got shield envy of the other guy. I bet his wife laughs at him in bed. Your shield sucks. I hope someday to dream co to marry a colorful shield man. I had to settle for you. Hmm. But he doesn't have a wife like I do that a chief gave. Because he thought I was a god or something. Alright, eliminate all the enemies. Let me, um, just one sec. Alright, there we go. I stopped the recording for the weirdest reasons. I had to trim my nails. 
I was playing my guitar earlier, and any of you guitar players know that you want to have your nails down. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let's, uh... Okay, soldiers. Juan Ortega, you run up and block that hole. Maybe I should have had Anna do that. Anna, you come up and guard the flank. Okay, Gabriella, you come here. We're going to put you on... I'm going to put you on interrupt. I'm going to put you here and do the exact same thing. Pilar. Let's see, we'll have you plug this hole. And then we'll have... Uh, is that Rita? Rita doesn't look like she has any boobs under that. Plug up that one. Fire! Ah! Good shot. Didn't do as much damage as I hoped, though. No, don't all go around! Go into my obviously laid trap! Fuckheads. Where are you going? Oh shit, I didn't notice that! We're in trouble. We're in trouble. Holy shit, spike traps are awesome! Oh. Okay, there's eight of them, and we're in a bit of trouble. Oh, come on, bit. Bitch, I, I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, fuck it, knock you off. Knock it off, you ass burger. Okay, Juan, um... Stun this person. We're gonna get you back here. I know they're gonna hit you, but whatever. Let's see, do we leave them? Yeah, finish them off. Okay, that's a good first start. Let's see, you kick that bitch. Nice. Rita, uh, you go up and stun that guy. Man, they take some hits. Go, Anna. I'm going to run up here and try and double shot it. Oh, if you could do it one more time, we could at least even the odds. Fuck you! Oh, he stunned me. That's not my fair. That's my move. Man, they still got too many people. Man, he hit far away from with that. Yeah, spike trappy. Oh shit, you fucking dickweed. Okay, um, finish this person. Since we're stuck all up here anyway, we might as well just keep on going. Okay, who's got a, do you got a double shot? Yeah, I tried to double shot them all. Good deal. And then can you hit, can I, Raphael? Oh wait, so you have another shot I wasn't thinking about. What's the eight? Ooh, that's pretty good. Sweet. And then could you hit this guy maybe? Not enough. Might as well take a stab. I'm gonna be in trouble because he's gonna get behind someone. Unfortunately, we can't do anything with Pilar this turn. Not good! Just fall down dead. Have a heart attack. Come on. Man, that bow person's... Bitch. Okay, that's not all... Oh, no. Fuck! That's bad. Okay, I am mad. 
There we go. <laughs> Let's see. Um, I don't know if we can get that guy or not. Fuck it. We're going to just try and hit him twice. Oh, come on, Dick Burger. Help me out. Okay, you. Oh, we can't stun him, unfortunately. Hit him hard, Rita. Horse kick him. Man, I want to go hit that guy. Might as well hit who's in front of us. He'll come to us anyway. We're kind of in trouble here. You can go guard the back. And we'll switch you to a melee weapon just in case. Switch you to one, too. Stop shooting at us! Man, that guy's like automatic! Yeah. Okay, so we got some stuff going on. Okay, let's get you. Oh, where am I going with the controls? Hit the wrong fucking controls! <laughs> like, I can't tell what's going on! Let's get you. Get you here. We've got to get rid of someone. Try and double shoot him. Oh, you fucker! God damn it, you idiot! Can you kick the guy? Maybe I should have stabbed him. I don't know. You stun him. We're gonna be screwed anyway there. Uh, you stun him too. Man, this is gonna be tight. Not in a good way. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Man, that person does not miss. Okay, um... Fire! Oh shit, really? Stab him to death? Nice. That guy here is gonna one shot one of you guys, though. Hide behind him. Oh, so close! You know what? Oh, maybe it's too late. Oh man, if we could have hit him like one more thing, we would have been good. Man, that bowman sucks. Okay, oh wait, are you stunned? No! Um... We're gonna try the double shot and hope it works. Okay, that part worked. Now we need the big thing, is you gotta hit that guy too. Come on, Raphael. Yeah, Raphael, he fucking John Ramboed it. He's like, yeah, bitches, this is how I do. Good job, bro. Now you in trouble, bitch, you better run. Pilar, go up there and stun that fucker. There you go. Man, Aztecs are tough. You shoot that guy. Okay, you miss. Whatever. You did kick ass the last time. Gabriella, just fucking unload. Okay, don't. <laughs> just miss. Oh my word, no! They're, they're, he's stunned! She's stunned, whatever. He's stunned. Alright, Pilar, punch this fucker. Yeah! Shoot him. Moderate, harmless, severe, ballistic. Oh, come on, Ortega. You gotta get better. Man, that was a hell of a fight. Our people are gonna need some severe taken care of. When the smoke clears, not a single Aztec warrior still stands. The tribal captives mostly consist of women and elders. They regard your people with blind fear. We're gonna free them because this might benefit us later on. 
You ride up to the old man who looks like he may have ha held a position of authority in whatever village these slaves were abducted from. His eyes meet yours with a pleading look. You raise your sword and cut his ropes freeing him. Gasps and screams of relief resound through the ranks as your men follow your lead and slaves celebrate their regained freedom. The prices offered by tribal merchants have improved. Sweet. The slaves take turns to kneel at your feet and praise you. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and then an explicable tongue. Before you send them on their way, you assume they're heading back to their village. Perhaps word of your deed will make it back to some of the other tribes. Good. That would be awesome. Because if we're going to fight the Aztecs more, we're going to start to need more allies. So who's got, let's see, moderate... Severe, okay, Severe, we're going to put the Doctor on you. Then let's see, it's Anna, or Rita. Okay, I guess I'll work on Rita the horse face. Lady, and then Anna, you're just going to have to deal with it for a little bit. Sorry, sorry about that. And then we'll have, um, we'll have Raphael guard, I guess. And then we will keep going. I'm going to start to... I, I wouldn't be surprised if things get harder and harder <laughs> as we get into Aztec territory. I assume that's... Where's the... Where's the um, legend that tells us what the things mean? Ruin? Temp... Okay, that was a ruin. I don't know that we have any active quest markers. Alright, um... I guess we'll go down this path a little ways, and then we'll go off into the woods and, I think, camp. Yeah, we're going to go off and... Can we camp over here? Just because I want to get some of our people a little healthier. Let's see, Juan and Rita are both getting a little better. I'm willing to stay here a little bit, too, as we... um. See, how much better are they? Rita is now harmless. Where's Juan? Juan's still moderate. So we're going to just kind of run up there and get those herbs. I can kind of see. Let's go off the road a little bit more. We'll hide. Let's camp again. See, the patrols have returned empty-handed. We got a little bit of meat. Rita's bat better all the way. Sweet. That means we can get her back to guarding. Hooray! And we can... I can get on Anna. Since she's a lovely whore, that's awesome. Hopefully my wife don't mind. Do you mind, honey? I don't like that. Uh. <laughs> Alright, let's... um. We can push forward a little faster. Not too fast, though. I really do want to have another one of our people get healthy. I guess we'll camp here. Let's see, they're both better all the way. Your Sergeant Lopez politely pulls you aside after dinner to talk with you in private. There is something we must discuss. It concerns Rana, Juan Ortega, and Rita Martinez. Juan and Horseface? What's going on? I noticed they've been spending a lot of time together over the past few weeks. I want to keep sure. I wanted to make sure it was nothing sinister, so I've been keeping an eye on them. Dude, one's got a dick, one's got a vagina. Figure it out, Lopez. Well, it wasn't just a romantic affair. One has been visiting Rita's tent in the evenings. Dude, you have nothing to do. But it occurred to me that I'm not sure whether you allow that sort of relationship among your members on that expedition. Um... What? I don't care as long as nobody's whoring it up. If it's bad for morale... Um... What's your opinion? I don't know. He scratches his neck. Well... He thinks for a moment shakes his head. I don't think it's proper for expedition members to form that kind of rap relationship. It's not proper. Why not? It's just not proper! <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll talk to him. I'll talk to him, dude. Raphael makes himself scared, and you seek out the two lovebirds. You find them at a nearby s a stream, washing their cutlery conspicuously close to each other. Ooh, our forks and knives touched, babies! Hey, Ortega Martinez, word in private, to your privates, if you please. 
I brought my wife along, so... They look at each other with some concern, but they immediately put aside their cutlery, dry their hands, and immediately follow you out of earshot and everyone else. See, all three of these are people who fight for us a lot. Uh, is there anything you buttheads want to tell me? They still glance at each other, and Rita begins to neigh. Capitan! Yes, horse face? Why don't I take it and interrupt? We are in love, Capitan. We've been seeing each other romantically for weeks. Thanks for coming clean there, Ortega. We weren't sure how you'd react. Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna put my foot down a little bit. That doesn't matter. I'm your superior. You should have told me. They both nod reluctantly. See, si, Capitan. Uh, and I don't really give a fuck if they fuck. You know, that's less for them to worry about. Less sexual frustration. I see nothing wrong with this. I brought my wife along. You have my blessing. Now bone her good. I'm amazed anyone wants to bone the horse face woman. I will not get in the way of that. You're doing God's work. Rita jumps forward and gives you a strong hug. At least not a horse kick. And a peck of the cheek. Juan gives you a relief smile. Thank you, Capitan. I can't express how much this means to us. I got a question there, Juan. When it's late at night, do you ever accidentally end up behind a horse thinking it's Rita? I just want to know. Now get back to the cutlery. They both thank you several times before taking each other by the hand and practically dancing back to the stream to resume their chores. I wish everyone in my party was that happy about doing chores. Especially the dishes, because I fucking hate doing dishes. I think we're going the right way. I almost think we should go that way, though. But, you know, I'm going to stay in the role-playing sense. I'm not going to be like, I've got to be this or that. So forward, mi amigos. I want to go this way. Such lovebirds. I feel a little bad for telling Anna not to fuck around, but she was being a total slut. Like, if people want to be committed, that's okay, because that's going to be less bad for morale. If a lady is fucking four different guys, or a guy four different ladies, then there's much more likely to be jealousy and anger, and that's bad for morale. That's all I'm saying. Sweet, more shit. I want that stuff, and I want this stuff, and I want this stuff. I guess we'll camp here. Is everybody healthy? Okay, Doc, we'll put you on, um... Those spike traps were pretty fucking badass. They were really badass. We'll have you build some more barricades, I think. Yeah, because we only have three. Um, where was I? And Raphael, you don't need a guard anymore. You can be on... Patrolling? Hunting? Can't you preserve? Oh, it's because we don't have any extra meat. Derp. So I think that's pretty good. We'll camp. I can't remember if we're on moves or not. It doesn't matter. Ooh, we got 180 valuables we stole from somebody's hut. Sucks to be them. It's awesome to be us. I guess that's going to be the end of our adventure for this week. Well, this week. <laughs> for today. <laughs> uh, I'll see y'all next time. Say goodbye, Don Quixote. Nay. Quit being an asshole, you damn horse.